Okay, coming up, um, Orchard. Looks like we got a code red going on. Well, I'm meteorologist Ben Crosby. The excitement today, this, an apartment complex going up. Totally a cold red. At one point over there, the flames are up above these trees. Firefighters obviously on the scene and uh, extinguishing uh, the flames, but that's a total loss. I said it was an apartment complex. You can see they have the deck gun going, uh, having support coming in here from the, the backside over by... Uh, Overland Road and it looks like they're knocking this thing down let's go in for a closer look see exactly what we got going on I'm gonna kind of walk and talk here so I apologize for any static but clearly you can see total loss as the fire department is getting in there and doing their thing Look at those guys working, those heroes. Isn't that great? You can see the sun dimly beat, uh, through the smoke. But this thing was cooking. It still is. Hopefully there's nobody inside. That is an apartment complex, total loss. Notice also how the smoke is so thick. You see all those fake fires on TV and they don't talk about that smoke you can't see anything it's black as night in there so if you're in that uh, situation you want to get to the floor the lowest corner of the floor for breathing they're doing a great job knocking this thing down I mean seriously those flames are about 40 and 50 feet high just a little while ago uh, across the region so great job we're gonna see if we can get in a little closer here going through some brush so hopefully my mic doesn't kick out firemen down there of course working doing their thing looks like this was almost a storage facility a side of the comp uh, apartment complex They've got that uh, main stream of water going on. It looks like they're getting a deck gun going now on top of that other engine there. Smoke starting to kind of billow our way, so we may have to move here soon. You can see the extent of this building. It was a large building from Overland Road all the way back here, about a block or so, uh, oh, not a block, about a quarter of an acre back and it looks like this thing is going inside an apartment complex now because I am seeing smoke here uh, back up through this area right here so got to keep my eye on the camera so I can not use my eyes firefighters coming back here looks like engine three checking for hot spots tipping over everything this is what the, this is what they do. It looks like they're coming right on in through here. Trying to come in to get a line to go up on the back side of this. Opening a hole to come on in, get water support on the back side of this to get a handle on this fire. There they are, Boise's finest. Looks like they're doing about a two-inch hose lay. And they're going to get another stream coming up here behind the fire. This is what they do. 
Anything to suppress the fire. They're going through fences. They're going through anything. Important they had their Scott air mask on as well from these fumes. These Looks like they got another extension for the hose here. They're going to try to lay a line on the back side to really contain this thing, but this thing was out of control. Now they're through. Now they're through going on in. They get some water in this line soon. And those guys will be going to work on the back side. You can already hear them starting to beat the snot out of things over there. This line will be, look at these guys. So much pressure in these hoses, they've got to sit down to fight the fire. I'm going to get out of the way here. This line's not secure, and that thing stuff blasting around and it'll knock us cold. People on the second floor, they just announced. People on the second floor of this building, so they're going in to do some rescues. That's what that team was doing. So that's this terrible news we just received here over the intercom. There's people on the second floor. And this massive smoke. Look at how thick this is coming right at you. We're going to bust out of here because that's going to get to us. They're going to have to get some water in this whole line, hose line quick. So devastating. So a tragic situation here. Tragic situation. And that's what these guys are doing when they came to that fence. They're going in the back side. People now on the second floor of this apartment complex. And with these fumes and that smoke, it'll take minutes for them to pass out. Hopefully these guys can get in there and rescue them and, and get them out of there and help resuscitate them. Thoughts and prayers are welcome here. Firefighters are heroes. These stones could be very, very pleased with these guys today. Again, this um, apartment complex, there are people on the second floor. We are not seeing any flames in the apartment complex, so certainly that's some good news out of this situation. They have not put water in this line yet. The line that they came through the fences and they're in the back. They got an extension, I'm mean, guess, as they're going in. And they'll be going on in, uh, hopefully with some of the thermal gear to go and see if there's any folks up there. Look at that team working, that is team working. Let me zoom in here. Pressure in these hoses are so strong they have to sit on them or they'll be blowing around, flying around two stories high, knock somebody cold. Proper technique there by that firefighter. And now we're getting some smoke coming through here, and I am gonna bust on out of here because I'm breathing in this garbage. Oh. You don't want to breathe that stuff in. Yeah, but my biggest thing is that this is such dry grass. Oh, you'll be fine. No worries there. 
So we got the uh, onlookers here. What do you guys think about this? Uh, first fire I've ever, first fire I've ever seen. Kind of scary, actually. It's very scary. There's people on the second floor up through there, so they're trying to rescue them. So that's uh, disturbing news, isn't it? There's people up I there. Really hope they're okay. I yeah. Really hope they are. Um, have they have they gotten a chance to like see if there's like anyone in there? Like, no. In, in that smoke, you can't really see much. But obviously, they're knocking down the smoke here. Look at that, the visibility is improving. So it looks like they're getting an upper hand on this thing. My guess is that they got in on the roof and put in some ventilation in there. And so it sucked the smoke out. But man, I'm just on the fringes of this and you can, gosh, you can taste the toxicity of it. Hey, now they got some water in the hose. Just watch that coupling right there. Looks like they got it secured good. That thing comes good, um, free, then we're all doomed here. Yeah, now they're starting to break some stuff out there in the roof. I can hear them. Well, it looks like I got a little, I hope that's not flames coming in. If that place is involved, that's going to be trouble. So you're watching coverage of this fire. It was um, out of control, code red. An apartment complex, Overland Road. Looks like this place got going first. And then it got into this, an apartment complex. And they do have people up on the second floor of the apartment complex. But firefighters are trying to rescue. We're going to get another line going here. There they go. Fascinating coverage of these guys at work, these heroes doing their job. Phenomenal. And again, I'm backing off again. Because this smoke, as you can see, the firefighters in the backside that went through that fence um, they have cut a hole in the roof now. It's helped with ventilation, but they're going in to the second floor and kind of fighting this fire from the back side. I can hear the um, radios periodically through the smoke. I'll try to relay that information uh, to you. Incredible coverage. Incredible. Now the sun's coming out through the smoke and that's making some issues here. And here comes the firefighter, my guess is gonna fail to get out of here. Radio just speaking there, saying the Alpha Division will be working on the Battalion 1. Being the son of a retired battalion chief and growing up the side of a fire station, um, these guys are, are I take it for granted, but they're ignored until you need them, and boy, they do a great job when you're in need. Okay, looks like we've got some stuff going on over here. Now we're getting um, a little bit of wind here. And they're pushing, I'm gonna put this um, camera down because my arm's hurting. So now, uh, if the fire, if the fire is not in that building and not roaring on the inside that we can't see through the smoke, uh, they may have this knocked down. They're doing some uh, walk, um, what they call, um, Clean up, uh, just hit those hot spots, and they'll be here for many, many minutes of dousing these areas that were, you know, totally out of control. Again, the f flames when we first arrived were 15 feet high. We couldn't, you couldn't stand here. It was so hot, um, and I was over on the other side of the road, and they were towering over these trees. So it's got everybody's attention here in the city of Boise. So the firefighters, um, boy, doing their due diligence. Now we're just hoping that the folks that are inside that they talked about on the second floor are okay.
Um, notice the blinding smoke, though. I mean, you get in this stuff, you take one gulp of that, you're done. You're done. There's there's no recovery. So when there's a fire, you heard of um, a drop and a roll. You, I've known from personal experience in watching trainings that the best place to find air in a situation like this is the very lowest corner of a room. You stick your mouth in there and you will find air through the cracks because there is no air up in those rooms with this smoke, I'll tell you that. Especially if you stand up just a foot or two above the ground. Now they're doing some um, clean up here. I'm going to go back and do a little mobile. It looks like the camera's uh, out of focus, too. All right, so now we're back. I didn't focus here. Slowly but surely, they are knocking. They knock this thing down and trying to get rid of all, every little hot spot here. You can see it's so much smoldering, so much fire. You can see the fence down the line here was warped because of the heat. Uh, and there's still some hot spots burning back through here too. They have to come through and they'll turn everything over. Sixteen minutes here on the weather show, and sixteen minutes they have knocked this fire down. But again, these are apartment complexes. There are people up on the second floor. They are going to try to get some bodies out of there. Hopefully, they're not, uh, they're intact. Um, we don't need any um, fatalities out of this situation. I guess there's a little bit of um, a glimmer of hope in this situation. Is that building over there looks to be brick? And now they're going to go back up on the back side and get some ventilation on this thing with the ladder. Let's watch these firefighters go do their thing. Again, we're dragging through weeds, so apologize if there's any static. You can see the team uh, simulating here. in their Scott Air mask, which they need to do. They've got a spotter there holding the ladder and they will go up into this thick smoke, into danger. They're gonna go risk their lives for the hope and sake of others. And if the smoke gets real bad, we're gonna have to get out of here really soon. Notice that visibility down to near zero. And the firefighter is going to climb into that up on the roof and they're going to cut a hole in the roof to make for ventilation so the firefighters inside can go and look if there are bodies in there they can go and look and hopefully this is not a grim situation Couple of exciting days, boy, the weather show. Just down the road at the bank, seeing the smoke and taking a ride up here and hopefully, like I said, you get a sense, a really better sense of what a real um, fire is like, not like the fake ones on TV. I mean, the smoke is, is, is deadly. One breath of this toxic smoke, um, your lungs are done. And then these firefighters going in there, they've got their masks on. And they're going to get up on that roof and they're going to cut a hole in the roof. Now, if there is a fire inside, they will um, cut a hole and then we will see apologize for the shoddy camera work.
still. Let's see if they've gone up that ladder. Looks like they have. Yep, they got some gentlemen up on the roof now. Getting instructions from the battalion chief, I imagine. Gonna try to get some, um, let's see if they've got an axe up there or a saw. And I'll start going in through the roof. Oh, really? So you guys just heard some good news? Yeah, uh, we heard on the other side of the fence that everyone got out. Everyone got out. That's some certainly good news. Yeah, I don't know. One, there was a couple ladies that had been over there the whole time, and they just they were talking. Just said that everyone got out. That's so. some certainly some good news. What are your names? Uh, I'm Kaylin. And I'm Carter. Kaylin and Carter. Thank you for your input there. Communities come together um, in situations like this. Everybody is concerned, obviously, and that's fantastic. And of course, we're moving away now that they're dousing the back here of the building um, with water just over where we were standing. And so that's pushing the smoke in our direction. But like I said, they're going to actually do all this for quite some time and mop up uh, the situation. You see firefighters see that smoke in the roof. I don't know if you can see them. Sun is not doing us any favors at this point, but man. They're up there, trust me. And that thick smoke, walking through. Here comes one of the heroes here in his mask. Always gotta wear a mask in situations like this. These guys are well trained in that regard. They can't go in a fire without masks. Look at that. Eight tens flying overhead, triple formation. Just gave a scan there with a the device. I think it was like a thermal device. Maybe just turning it off, turning it on. Wild stuff here. Wild stuff. Well, it looks like they've got it uh, contained. Another great job by the Boise Fire Department. Amazing excitement down here on the weather show with Vin Crosby. <laughs> Love to have you subscribe to the weather show in case any of these other situations happen. Hey, we'll be there. And you'll get an email and an instant uh, update for any breaking uh, weather news, any breaking fire news, right? Fascinating. Boise's Finest did another great job. Doesn't sound like we have any uh, issues. Looks like they're coming down off the roof. You can see them there at the corner. Hoses are off. Absolutely excitement. So we're getting some good news, if it's true. Uh, we haven't had any confirmation that uh, the people on the second floor were evacuated, getting out of there safely, so that's certainly some good news. Um, again, the fly flames are 50 feet high at one point. Uh, this apartment complex, and looks like a warehouse inside of here, uh, was just totally engulfed. And the firefighters came in and did what they do best. They knocked it down, um, got here quickly, knocked it down. Now they're just doing some uh, touch-up work. And so they'll get this thing knocked down totally and then the fire inspectors will get in there and determine what was the cause of this massive fire here in Boise on Overland Road. Uh, you know, the, the her house. What's that? It's her house. And no. she's getting married in two weeks. Oh my goodness, a bride here uh, doesn't want to get interviewed and she's here and um, She's getting married in two weeks and just said she's lost everything in there. 
we will get uh, maybe some information from her to maybe get some help for her. There's a lot of people that would probably love to donate in this situation and help out this young lady getting married in two weeks and her apartment is there. Oh, here we go. Looks like they found um, another source, if you will, of fire there. It was burning inside and when they got into that building, that container, it started taking off. We could feel the heat from it right here. This is why the firefighters will go in and do mop up because these fires will burn underneath for quite some time. If there's any consolation to this, is that this uh, apartment building was brick. If it was wood, it'd be totally gone. Yep, there's the mop-up they're going to do. They have to get another line on that soon. They'll just let some of these burn. This is the couple that's going to get married. So we're going to try to get um, information from them so you can help them out. They seem to be in good spirits. So, this gentleman's going to go and um, see if any information you can get from the firefighters to get inside. Oh, I'm not going to shoot you. I'm just talking about you. Oh, <laughs> they're shooting water here. Just smoke. So that's some good. Wow. So you got some encouraging news there? Yeah, stuff is stuff. People can't be replaced. So is it true you're getting married? Yes. And your stuff is in there? Yeah. Unbelievable. What's your name? Dustin. Dustin, um, we're going to see if we can...